should be live in just a moment. And there we go. We are officially live. Yay! Woo, we made it. A little bit of technical difficulty there, but we, we were able to rally. So, uh, hello and la boss. Uh, we thank you for joining in on our third course of opening an MRE and looking at all the goodies inside and uh, seeing what all's inside. Today, we're actually going to talk about a Lithuania MRE, and they call it a, I, I know I'm going to mess it up, but it's a salsa de Venice, and it literally means dry ration. So we're going to get started right now. This is Matt. The Matt's mom. And we are ready, ready to eat. eat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into the Lithuania pack that we have here. Uh, this is a, a single meal ration as opposed to a, uh, the Russian one we did last time, which was a full 24-hour uh, uh, complement. Um, it has about 1,460 calories, and each ration includes some of the things like it has one main meal, uh, two packs of hard crackers, Sometimes they call them Panzer waffles or tank tracks, just depending on where you happen to be. They're, they're very hard crackers because when they're in these packs and being shipped all over, they need to withstand being jostled, crushed, and moved around. So they're kind of tough treats, that's for sure. And there's also either a tub of honey or jam, um, which is called metis, is the word for honey in uh, Lithuania. Um, they'll have a bag of roasted almonds or hazelnuts, an envelope of vitamin C fortified fruit juice powder, um, an envelope of tea, instant coffee, or instant broth. So you don't know which one you're going to get until you open it up. Hopefully you like all of those things. Four bags of sugar. So plenty of sugar. Okay. And then there's one package of dark chocolate. Do you want to tell them kind of the history of the dark chocolate that's going to be in the bag there? Yeah. So we looked up uh, the type of chocolate that's in there, and it's named uh, Ruda is the, the company name. And so back in the, uh, let's see, in 1913, uh, the gentleman, and I can't say the name because it is, uh, is Lithuanian, but he established the Ruda Candy Company uh, at the age of 36. Um, so as many of the companies that were in Lithuania were foreign owned, he wanted to make sure something was inclusive of the local culture. Uh, and so he named it Ruta which is a plant found in Lithuania. I guess a common name for it is, uh, is a rue plant. And so he tried to use that for the, uh, the national character and highlight uh, Lithuania in the product. Um, one of the things that, uh, some, when some of the research that we were doing, we found that this is supposed to be a very good dark chocolate. So we're, we're kind of anxious to try that to see how delicious it is. Okay. So we got our, we got our little, our little pack out here. And so, let's see, uh, let me zap this up right now. Uh, so right now we have the, uh, the crackers. These are the uh, Panzer. And how many are in there? Uh, let's see, there looks like there's, there's four uh, crackers that are in there. Kind of like the consistency or the thickness of a Pop-Tart, but I'm sure it's a lot harder yeah, than they're, that. They're, they're pretty dense there. Um, we've got this little pack. It looks like it has, oh, it opens up. You can spread it out here. So reusable plastic bags. They even have like a, a kind of a zipper thing where you can actually use it again. I have a, a zip tie so you can uh, tie it off. A very, very cheap plastic spoon. We have some uh, fuel tablets for the little stove that's in here. Uh, matches. Uh, let's see, zip tie. This is a refreshing towel, so once you're done enjoying your meal, you can uh, wash your hands and all that. Um, looks like with this particular one, we had um, some hazelnuts. So we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, oh, no, they, they make a lot of this stuff easy to, easy to open up, so you're not going to need too many tools. So these are all of our, our roasted hazelnuts. Okay, and I'll just start on this bag here. All right, lots of good things in here. All right. And of course, it has the instructions. Um, unfortunately for us, it's all in Lithuanian, so we're not able to share that with you, but most of it is pretty easy to figure out. How the scissors? Okay, there you go. A lot of these things are used, uh, uh, pictograms or things like that, to kind of instruct you on how to do it. That way you don't have to 
read through the instructions or anything like that. And one of the things there is the orange flavored vitamin C drink. You want me to go ahead and put that in our water? Yeah. Okay. Um, given the length of time that the, uh, the actual meal takes to cook, uh, it's usually about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to kick this off first thing, kind of explore the other uh, little accoutrements that's available here. And um, then we'll crack it open and try the other main course. Ooh, well, it smells good anyway. So I'm going to put that in there and let that start dissolving start a little dissolving. bit. Yeah. Uh, so this one from the what we were able to read up for option number eight, it's a stewed chicken with uh, buckwheat, I believe. Um, and so with this one, they do have the ability that you can use one of these little foldable stoves on it. Um, but given that we don't really want to have a, a live flame going in the dining room, uh, we'll stick with the flameless. Didn't, didn't somebody want us to show flames? Well, somebody that, was demanding. Was that Emily? Emily was uh, <laughs> asking for flames, so I, I don't know if we'll be able to. Let's see. All right. Well, we're going to let that sit. It'll dissolve a little bit more. I'm going to put it aside. There's here. your fire. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't have smoke protection. <laughs> so, all right. So with the, the, the ration here that we have here, um, I got to say, so there is, the writing is in Lithuanian, but across there they do have the uh, picture so that you don't necessarily have to, uh, uh, to be able to read it to know how to use it. And so it says about 10 to 12 minutes it looks like. So let me go ahead and uh, A, I'm going to use that guy. Okay. While he's doing that, I'm going to go oh, ahead and open up this Ruda chocolate bar. So we'll have to have a look at that to see how deep rich that is. I'm just to try it though, because I don't know that I've really had a lot of beer. I know. Oh my God. Oh, well, this looks like it's been, uh, oh. I'm sure it still tastes good, but it has been uh, in there for quite a while. So they, uh, a lot of times they'll say that it is bloom. Wow, that is very. It is very bloomed. <laughs> so we're going to, it smells good though. It smells it? very good, yes. Mm. Very dark chocolate. Oh, that yeah. Good. Okay. All right. And there's our honey. The Metis, right there. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we actually do have the instant coffee and our sugar. So, do we want to start the coffee while you've got that working on that? Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we, we do have a bit of time on this guy. So, we, we pop them in here, we pour in some water, we fold it back, put it in there, and then we put it on a rock or something. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to put it on this, right? Are you putting it inside or on top? Uh, I was going to use that other uh, container there just to keep it tilted. Okay. All right, and I'm going to go ahead, and this is a little instant coffee packet. I guess uh, a lot of the European countries, they don't actually put cream in their coffee. So if you're a person who likes cream with your coffee, I guess you're kind of out of luck. So we're going to open this up. Oops, I think I'm going to open it up. Let's see here. So, uh, you have some scissors here, if that would help. Oh no, I just want to tear up the package. There you go. Okay, there we go. So I've added the uh, the water here into the, the pack, and as the, uh, the flameless ration here gets wet, it should start a chemical reaction and uh, start to, to heat up the, uh, the meal here. Okay, so you're going to set that aside and we'll pour this coffee in. I'll pour this hot water in this the coffee here, see what we come up with. Ooh, it, well, it smells like instant coffee, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. And give it a little stir. Gonna let that sit there for a moment, too. All right. We're not supposed to eat the, the heating pad for the instructions. What? And the last thing here is the sugar, so we'll wait until our coffee kind of uh, sits there for just a moment and gets all dissolved. Do you want me to hold that? We got it. There we go. We got it now. Oh, okay. Uh, when I put the, uh, the pack in there, it actually folded over the uh, heating element, so it wasn't really uh, absorbing the water like it should. But now I can start to feel it's heating up, so okay. it's just... Slightly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you put it back in the box there? Put it back in this little paper sleeve. Uh, any uh, heat or steam will come out the top. 
It's cooking. It's, it's cooking up now. So we'll put that up here in the front and okay. let the, uh, let it go. All there. right. Um, do you want to try some of the hazelnuts there? Uh, yes. Let's see. So these are dry roasted hazelnuts. And that's for your protein because you need that. Kind of a bland nut. No salt. <laughs> but pretty good. If you like Nutella, that's what they, these are made out of. Minus, minus the chocolate, I guess you could maybe work your way into some sort of homemade Nutella. So, not, not too bad. Okay. Terrible. Okay. All right. What about a cracker? You want to try some of this honey on there? Yeah, a little honey and a cracker. I will open up the honey here. And it hasn't crystallized. A lot of times the honey will have crystallized for being in the, uh, the package for a while. Because there's, there's no telling, given that this is from Lithuania, the, uh, the path that it took from there all the way over to here, there's no telling the, uh, the environment that these items could have been stored in. All right, well, I'm going to give you this spoon here. Oh, this handy one. dandy spoon. Can you break it in half? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, there we go. <laughs> kind of like the hardtack of the Civil War. Here. <laughs> That's a hard cracker. <laughs> Oh, honey's smooth. Well, I'm making a mess. There you go. Thank you. Let me try that. <laughs> Whoops. We're, we're uh, professionals here. On, we don't uh, spell anything. Never. Mm. The honey is delicious. The cracker. Mmm. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> it's kind of bready. Mm hmm. Versus like a saltine or anything. Mm hmm. Not too bad. Yeah, honey. That's not terrible. Have any one of those napkins over there? Sure. I got most of it on me. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think our coffee might be ready. Would you like to try some of that with some sugar in it? Well, well, let's take a sip in both, with and without sugar. Okay, I'll try this first. Wish me luck. Well, good coffee should be able to stand without sugar, so we'll see. Um, not too bad, not too bad. Not terrible for instant? No, not terrible for instant. Oh, yeah, it does have that <laughs> instant. Okay, it's different. <laughs> and we'll add a little sugar. And they gave us quite a bit of sugar here. It's like 12 grams of sugar. Kind of as a big contrast to the uh, Russian Federation when we did, that had collectively 90 grams of sugar for an entire day. And this is 12 for just this one pack, so quite a bit less sugar um, than we had in the other one. Okay, we'll give this a try. See if the sugar made a significant difference. Mm, maybe a little bit more. Oh, is it looking a little bit more? I think we'll put the rest of it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think it was going to hurt it. Okay. I'll let you try it. There you go. <laughs> I, I don't know that I'm going to be too anxious to be marching around after having instant coffee. So, but. I guess if it's this versus nothing, it's not too bad of a choice. Let's see here. Let's see. We didn't try that chocolate, so you want to try some of this? Yeah, we'll Let's try see what we can do with this here. Here's it might be a little crumbly. Ooh, yes, yeah, very crumbly. Give you a little piece there. One crumble for you. One crumble for me. You can see here it is. It's quite bloomed. So, what are we thinking? It tastes really good. The look surface is misleading, but it has a very rich taste. Like, almost like... I'm trying to think of what it is. It reminds me of like a powdered mix of... Well, it tastes something. like just like dark cooking chocolate. It's very good. Maybe that's what it is. So, I, it's really not too bad. Yeah. We put some of that in the coffee, it'd be great. Oh, okay. Well, where's your coffee? Yeah. You put a little crumble, 
A little oil in there. Yeah, about half of that. Okay, half of that. <laughs> You're not wanting the taste of that coffee, are you? Okay, we'll let that stir in there. Melt, maybe I'll melt a little bit there. And we also have our um, vitamin C orange flavored drink there. You want to try some of that? Oh. Are you just enjoying that cracker? Aren't I you? am. Why don't you go ahead and press that <laughs> on the. Uh... Um, kind of like tangy. The tangy? Kind of tangy. Tangy tang? Tangy tang. Well, it smells like tang. <laughs> You're not supposed to drink the whole thing. I want my vitamin C. <laughs> That's exactly what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll put this aside. How many more minutes until uh, our main meal is ready? Let's see. So it's about eight minutes so far, so we uh, should be pretty close to being able to, to open him up. Okay. I'm trying to melt this. Is there some chunks in there? Yeah, it's a little, a little bit of chunks in there. And you notice we have the, the, let's see, which one is which. Okay, this one is the flag, and then this one is the symbol. It's very basic, I tell you. That's definitely yellow, green, and, and red on their flag. Let's see, do we have another cool flag? No, no, no. Did we put anything else that was pretty interesting? No, no, I think, I think we got our, our different kind of like dry rations and stuff like that, so. Um, but they do, they do have quite a different, uh, quite a few varieties. It looks like they have about eight different uh, varieties of uh, MREs that they, they pack. So you, um, as you're going through. Maybe you could tell them some of the other ones. Um, all right, so there's uh, almonds and hazelnuts as a variation. Uh, instead of honey, you could get black currant jam. Um, they have different kinds of mixed drinks. So they have uh, orange, which we had, uh, apple, lemon, there's uh, beef and barley, Pork and barley, roasted pork. Um, Is it tight? Oh, thank you. Uh, it looks like I guess one of the things you can get instead of coffee is an uh, instant broth. So instead of having coffee, you would have broth. A broth. I'm going to put a little bit more hot water in here to help melt that chocolate. Okay. There we go. Maybe that'll make it melt a little faster. All right. So. It, this might not be the, the hottest on here, but we didn't want to keep anybody too long. So, uh, can we feel that? Oh, yeah. That, that's toasty. Really hot, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and open them up and try them in here and see how the uh, the stewed chicken with buckwheat, how that tastes. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Oh, man. We'll be writing, <laughs> writing letters home. I'll write them to you. So, bring them up. Cut it open with the scissors. Yeah, go ahead and put that down. You can see all the condensation is built up on the outside of that, so you know that it was actually really hot. Ooh, yeah, really hot. Okay. So okay. This, will, uh, this is about a 240 gram meal here, just just in the, the main course alone. Okay. Smell the chicken. Oh wow! It comes out very easily, so that's a good thing. You know, it's nothing like struggling trying to get your meal out when you're hungry, right? Mmm. Good, good packet of. And it looks like if you can see here, uh, the it's kind of separated on the right. On this side here is the chicken, and then you have your uh, your buckwheat on the other side. If you want to mix them together, or you, you reckon that's which which is yeah, which? Yeah, that's that's actually the chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're they're a bit of brown and and formed. So. But the, the spices in it, or you can really smell it. It smells very good. Right. So we'll try a little bit of that. Try a little bit of the chicken here. This chicken. Oh, Does pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're getting a lot. You must be hungry. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Yeah. I'm gonna try a little bit of the porridge down here. The, uh, the buckwheat. Buckwheat, yes. Mm. Good too. The flavoring is good. Mm -hmm. Actually, pretty tasty. 
No complaints on that. The main menu is really good. Yeah, I mean, it probably could use another couple minutes of heating up, but um, imagine when you would uh, uh, get your little flameless stove going, you probably kind of mill around and enjoy all of your uh, your other snacks and their um, their bowls, and you would. Uh, uh, jump on it. But you want to try the coffee now that the chocolate is melted in that? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. You, you're not eating dinner tonight? Apparently not. <laughs> like a foam chocolate. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is quite an improvement. All right. All right. Anything else that we can go over? Uh, some fuel tabs, the stove. Now that we've eaten our meal, we need to use our up. refreshing towel. Our it must towel. be lemon scented, obviously, with the lemons on the outside. I guess we don't need an interpreter for that. <laughs> but it's in quite a few languages if you did. So let's see here. Yep, it's a lemon, lemon towel. So it's just a little uh, moist towelette. I don't want to be greedy. Oh, okay. Is that what, what it is? All right. So you can share with your friends, sh the shareable size. Wipe off the face. All right. All right. Okay. Well, hey, looks like we've covered everything. Yeah. Um, so one thing that I, I was asked by a couple of people uh, about where I got the, uh, the MREs since they're not from uh, the U.S., I actually found a website called mremountain.com. And they have a whole different varieties that they have Estonian, uh, some from uh, Chile, Portugal, Germany, Russia, um, and Lithuania and all that. And they kind of rotate through as far as uh, what they have available. So um, it was easy enough just to order them. But they did come, uh, the Russian one came through Belarus, and this one actually came via the Netherlands. Uh, and so it had quite a, a little journey outside of being in Lithuania, but it came all the way across the pond to, to be here today. So. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on this third one, and we'll see, uh, see what other kind of good menus that we can get into. But So this is Mom. And this is Matt. And we're, we're ready, ready to eat. eat. All right. Thank Bye. you.